So the discrete GPU market share results for the first quarter of 2017 are in, and it looks like Nvidia did fairly well when compared to AMD. Despite a decrease in add-in board market due to market shifting, the green team did manage to increase their dedicated GPU share. The discrete GPU market is overall down 29.8% over the previous quarter. However, Nvidia did still manage to increase their share by around 2%. Now, typically, the market does see a rebound around quarter three of each year, so it suggested that we could see a further decline in quarter two, 2017, but not quite as big as this quarter. So, you know, only time will tell with that one. But let's take a look at the actual market share for right now. One of the interesting things is while desktop PCs may have taken a sharper decline, the add-in board partner sales have actually taken not nearly as quite of a hit. So that's interesting to see that. It looks like less people are buying desktop PCs and more people may be upgrading graphics cards and that shift may be due to people waiting for something. The Nvidia desktop G or dedicated GPU market share rose to 72.5% and AMD's is at 27.5. Now that's a big change where it was before Nvidia had what, just over 80% market share, so AMD clawed back some of that, but it looks like they're losing a little bit of ground, and that may be due to people either waiting for Vega, or they're tired of waiting for Vega, and now they're starting to buy Nvidia cards, so it'll be interesting to see how that shakes out. Something else to take in consideration is this is quarter one. This isn't quarter two, and quarter two saw a lot of sales for Radeon cards to the point where it pushed them out of stock in most places thanks to ethereum mining now we did have an article talking about that as well as another video on basically where are the 570s including the 470s or whatever but looking at a chart showing shipments by segment over time it shows that entry level and mid-range markets gave a major blow to the discrete gpu market they fell off a lot while the high-end and enthusiast and workstation market kept strong. And that's kind of where NVIDIA has been adding a lot of value or a lot of options to the market. And it's really the only place you have to go right now if you want a high-end dedicated GPU. But that's all about to change at the end when Seagraph comes around or the end of June when the Radeon Vega Frontier Edition launches for workstation professionals and high-end graphics and then later down the road the Radeon RX Vega which will be coming at Seagraph uh, 2017 so that may be shifting looking to shift the market going into the next quarter but it'll be a while before we see those results so that'll be interesting to keep up with as far as how well um, Radeon can stay in stock and then how well the launch goes for RX Vega to see if we see any other shifts in that market in one way or the other. If you want to see more about this, there's an article linked in the description below or above if you're on Facebook with more information and a more in-depth look at this topic. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.